Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about power flow in an induction motor. For the outline we have introduction, derivation and power flow diagram. To start with the introduction, induction motor converts an electrical power supplied to it into mechanical power. The various stages in this conversion is called power flow in induction motor. The three phase supply given to the stator is the net electrical input to the motor and it can be calculated with the help of formula with 3 VL IL cos phi, where cos phi is the motor power factor, VL is the line values of supply voltage and IL is the current drawn. Here P in is nothing but this stator input. The part of this power is utilized to supply the losses in the stator which are stator core as well as Proper losses. The remaining power is delivered to the rotor magnetically through the air gap with the help of rotating magnetic field. This is called rotor input denoted as P2. So P2 is equal to P in minus stator losses, where stator losses is the sum of core and copper losses. P2 is the rotor input. The rotor is not able to convert its entire input to the mechanical as it has to supply rotor losses. The rotor losses are dominating the copper losses as rotor iron losses are very small and hence generally neglected. So rotor losses are rotor copper losses denoted as PC. So PC is equal to 3 times I2R square times R2 where I2R is the rotor current per phase in running condition and R2 is the rotor resistance per phase. After supplying these losses, the remaining part of P2 is converted into mechanical, which is called gross mechanical power, developed by the motor denoted as PM. Therefore, PM is equal to P2 minus PC. Now, this power motor tries to deliver to the load connected to the shaft, but during this mechanical transmission, part of PM is utilized to provide mechanical losses like friction and windage. And finally, the power is available to the load at the shaft. This is called net output of the motor denoted as P out. This is also called shaft power. Therefore, P out is equal to PM minus mechanical losses. The rating of the motor is specified in terms of value of P-out when load condition is full load condition. About mention point can be explained by a diagram called a power flow diagram. Stator. Net electrical input is given to the stator which is P in. And the output of a P in is P2. So P2 act as a input to the rotor. So there is some losses in stator, which is stator losses and rotor. Copper losses. Water iron losses are neglected. Now, after supplying this part to the losses, remaining part of P2 is converted into mechanical which is called a gross mechanical power which is denoted by PM. Motor tries to deliver to the load connected to the ship by doing the mechanical transmission part of the beam is neutralized to provide a mechanical losses.
finally the power is available to the load the net output of the motor denoted as a p out this is the diagram i was explaining earlier from the power flow diagram we can divide rotor efficiency rotor output over rotor input which is the mechanical cross mechanical power develop over the rotor input that is pm over p2 and net motor efficiency net output at a shaft over net electrical input to the motor p out over p in this is the end of the our video thank you